Okay, before um, I teach a Sound Sensible lesson in Spire, I do have to put my lesson together on a lesson plan form. Um, there are five steps to a lesson and each um, step stands alone, so students might be at different levels at each step, so therefore the materials are not scripted. So my first step is listening. So I go to my teacher's manual and I pick out the activities I'm going to do for the day. Um, today I'm going to be having the students comparing words and telling me if they hear the same word or different words. So I'm just writing the word pairs on my list so that I um, can quickly get to those when I need them. Okay. <clears throat> the second part of the lesson is rhyming. I have a choice of activities to do. Um, there's a rhyming section in the teacher's manual. So I just pick the activity that my students are ready for. And today I'm going to be using rhyme providing um, flashcards. Um, I'm sorry, matching flashcards. And I'll be getting those out of the kit in a minute. I'm going to do sets 9 and 10 so I know to go pull those out before the lesson. Step three of the lesson is segmentation, so I turn there in my manual and I pick the activity I'm doing that day. Um, today I'm going to be writing a few sentences down that the manual gives me to have um, the students dashing out the words they hear in the sentence, how many words they hear. So I'm just going to write about five of those down. Each step of the lesson lasts about nine minutes, so I need to make sure that I have enough activities for that. Okay, the fourth. Um, part of the lesson is called the phoneme graphing part, and this is where you actually learn the sounds of the letters, the names, and how to write them, so it's really important. And I need to go to where my students are, and I just write down the materials and the activities that I need for the day. Okay, so <clears throat> just every lesson I'll be reviewing all the sounds they have mastered. Um, and then I know to get out the different materials I need for their new sound. And the manual tells me everything I need. I just, it's important to put the lesson together before teaching it. Okay, the last step of the lesson is dictation. This is where the kids are learning to write the sounds of the letters that are dictated to them. And again, there's a section in the manual. I just turn to where I am and I write down the next day's activity. So even though I have to put the lesson together, it's very easy. Everything I need is right in the manual. So I'm just going to um, put down the new letter we're working on and then the dictated sounds. And then the way we start our students getting ready to spell is by dictating words. And in the beginning, they just write the beginning sound of the word or the ending sound. And that's kind of a progression into spelling. Okay, so after I have my lesson plan written, I'm going to go to the kit and pull out all the flashcards and the different materials I need for the day so it's all together. Hi, Ahmad and Satchel. Today we're going to work on some letter sounds, okay? And I'm Mrs. Ross, remember? Okay? So I'm so glad that you're here. Ahmad, can you hold your hands for me so you can really listen? Okay, we're going to start out with some listening. And remember, we have a picture of two dogs. So if the words I say are the same, you show me the picture with the two Dalmatian dogs on them. And if the words I say are different, you show me the picture with the dog and the cat on them. Okay, you guys ready to listen? Okay, get those ears open. Okay, here we go. Nat, mat. Is it the same or different? You want me to say them again? If you need to hear it again, ask me. Good, they're different. Listen again, nat, Matt. They were two different words, weren't they? Good job, Satchel and Ahmad. Very nice job. Okay, ready to listen again? This is a very tricky one, so really think about it. Okay, look at me say the letter. That will help you, the words. That will help you. Ready? Ran, ram. Are they the same or different? Ahmad, listen. You can do it. Listen to me, hon. Look at me. Ran, ram. Yeah, they were different. You heard it all on your own. Good job. Okay. Here's, you did. You're really on top of things today. <laughs> all right. The third word set is pan, pam. <laughs> Good job. Okay, I'm going to say these words just for Ahmad and let him really think about it and give him a little time to think it over. You ready, Ahmad? So, Satchel, we're going to let Ahmad tell us what the answer is for this one. Ready? Nap. Nap. 
Very good, Ahmad. And I like how Ahmad said the words to himself. And if you're not sure, that's a really good idea. All right, this is for Satchel to figure out. We're going to, Ahmad and I are going to see if Satchel can do it. Okay, ready? Nag, nag. It's the same. Good listening, Satchel. Okay, this is Ahmad. Fan, tan. Good job, they were different. You guys are getting the hang of this. Okay, Satchel, Pam, Bam. Pam, Bam, very good listing, Satchel. All right, um, this is the last word set for Ahmad. Ready? Nan, ma'am. Good job, Ahmad. Very good listening. You did very well with your listening today. Okay, now we are going to do some rhyming. <clears throat> and I have my yellow cards ready. I'm going to spread out my mat. Okay. Remember that a rhyming word sounds the same at the end of another word. Okay, let's do another set and see if you can get some more pairs. Okay, this is a what? Bed. This is a girl and she's getting cool. See how her hair is blowing? That looks like an air condition. So the word is cool. Cool. Say cool. cool. Good. Pan. Okay, do you ever see your mom cook with a pan? Yep. Tag. Tag. And hush. Hush. Do you ever hear that word, hush? What does that mean, Satchel, when someone says hush? It means okay. to quiet down. Mm -hmm. So we have, say the words after me. Tag. Tag. Cool. cool. Bed. Bed. Pan. Pan. Hush. Hush. Good. All right. We're going to start with Ahmad this time. Ahmad, this is a sled. A sled. What does sled rhyme with? Sled. sled. Does that sound right? Sled tag. Sled cool? No. What's sled bed? Does that sound right? Sled bed. Nope. Okay. Sled pan? Nope. Sled hush. So let's look at this. Sled, and we want a word that has ed on the end. Sled tag? No. Sled cool? No. Sled bed? Yes. Yes, that's it. Sled bed. The words rhyme. All right, Satchel, you ready? This is where we are today. We're at school, aren't we? School. What, what does school rhyme with? School. Cool. Very good, Satchel. Good. <clears throat> okay. Ahmad, we have a fan. 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 fan well, this is a tag, so we need fan, tag, fan, pan, fan, pan. Right, very good, Ahmad. Very good thinking on that one. Okay, satchel, bag, bag. Very good. And a brush, Ahmad, rhymes with? Good job. Now, would you put out your pairs of cards so you can read them to me? So put out your pairs that rhyme. So you've got your tag bag and your cool school. You put yours out that rhyme, put them together. Match up your Shop. cards. Shop. Where that was it. Okay, so duck truck. Very good. Spread them out so you can read them to Pick. me. Pick. Very good, Satchel. <clears throat> Got your bear and a pear. Yeah. Good. How about these two? Remember this? Yeah. Sled bed. Okay. Good job, you guys. All right. Fan, pan. Okay. Both ready. Satchel, read me your words. Bed, tag, school, cool, shop, chop, sit, pick, it. Plant. Very nice reading of those words. Okay, Ahmad. Truck. Truck. Duck. Bear. Bear. Sled. Bear. Brush. Us. Bear. Very good. Good rhyming. Nice work. Okay, put your cards together, okay? Put them in. 
bunch them up and put them together and we're going to go on to our dry erase boards. We like that part, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> That's always like to open our class. Uh-huh. Do you ever get those out there? Yep, we get double markers. Oh, wow. Double markers. Well, that sounds lucky. Double markers. Hmm. <laughs> I'll have to think about that for next time. All right, there's satchels and there's the moths. We picked our colors. You wanted pink, right? And you wanted orange. Okay. Now remember, why don't you write your names down at the bottom and then we'll go ahead and I will give you your sentences. Yep, we're going to dash out the words here. Can you need some help? I think it's new. Wow. Need some help? There you go. Write your name at the bottom. <clears throat> it's beautiful. Very nice. Whoa. <laughs> Very pretty. Nice writing, you guys. Okay, now I'm going to say a sentence and we're going to count the words and then dash it out, okay? So, before, let's put our markers up at the top while we listen, okay? Here's your first one, ready? Run fast. Say that. Run fast. How many words? Run fast. One. Run fast. Two. Two, very good. One, okay. and period good. At the yes, we need our period. You remembered. Good job. Run fast. So, where would you run fast? Where could you run fast at? Park. At the park. Good. Where would you run fast, Ahmad? At the park. At yeah. the park or the playground, maybe. You think? Do you ever run fast when you go outside for recess? It's fun, or maybe PE in the gym. Do you ever run fast in there? Yeah, that's what we do yeah. when we play sports. Yeah. Does your PE teacher ever say, "Run fast"? <laughs> nope. I run myself. Oh, okay. All right. Here's your next sentence. Put your markers down so we can listen. Ready? Math is fun. Say that. Math, Math is fun. fun. Good job. Dash it out. Math is fun. Good. Now, I want you to circle the dash. That would be the word fun. So, Satchel, math is fun. Good, Ahmad. Where would fun be, Satchel? Math is fun. Good. So, Satchel, say the words for me. Math, math is fun. Good. You say them, Ahmad. Math is fun. Good. All right. Here's your next sentence. Put your markers down. Satchel, put your marker down. Okay. All right. My dog has spots. My dog has spots. Four words. Okay. Say it as you dash. My dog has spots. Put your period in. My dog has spots. Say it for me, Ahmad. Oh, point as you say it, hon. My dog has spots. Good. Now, you are getting a dog? Oh, you're a lucky boy. All right. Would you circle the where we would write the word dog in this sentence? My dog has spots. Satchel? My dog has spots. Where would dog be? You've got it, Ahmad. My, well, that's my. My dog has spots. There you go. It would be the second word. My dog has spots. Okay. We are going to do one more. Satchel, why don't you dash yours out up here because you're running out of room and Ahmad can do his here. All right. So here, why don't we want him to go like we read left to right. Okay. So put your marker down and listen, Satchel. Here's your sentence. The house is green. Say that with me. The house is green. Four words. So say it as you write it. Dash it. The house is green. I love how you're remembering your periods. Very good. Okay, circle the color word in that sentence. The house is green. The house is green. The house good, Satchel. Oh, wow, you guys did so well. The house is green. Good job. All right, put your lids on your markers. That was fun. It was fun. You guys did really well. We're going to need those markers again in a minute, so I'll save them for you, okay? All right, let's look at our letters and sounds. You'll see. I've got lots of things that we're going to be doing. All right, so here's my letter cards, and when I show it to you, I want you to tell me the name of the letter and no, the sound. Like okay, and what sound does she have, Ahmad? 
good. Is that right? Satchel Chica. Good. It kind of triggers me to this Uh-huh, because you say G, and that sounds like a different sound, doesn't it? All right, Satchel, what's the name of this? That's the sound. What's the name of it? Uh, M. Good, M. Mm. And remember, we did this letter when we worked the last time, and it was man, right? M, man, M. Mm. Right. Okay, so um, Ahmad, what's this? Z. Good Z sound. Satchel? And what's the name of it? Good job. I want to do that. <laughs> what's this? A. 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 What is it, Satchel? A. Good. Satchel? We, all of our vowel sounds are green, and right now we're working with A's. You're right. That's good looking, good noticing. Okay, Satchel. It's an A, B, C, D, E, F. F. Right, it's an F. What is it, Ahmad? F. And what's, good job, Ahmad? A B. It's the other one. It's a D. It's a D, and what sound does D have? Good, what's the name and sound? D. And what's the sound? D. Good job. Satchel? What's this one? C. C. Is it a C or? K. K, and what's the K say? <laughs> good job, K, K, what is it? Cake. Good. Ahmad? I mean, seek. Good. It has the same sound, seek. doesn't it? Good job. Satchel? Oops, upside down. S. Good. What is it, Ahmad? S. Good. Ahmad? Peep. Satchel? Peep. Good. You guys know these. I think this is T. T. Good. T Ahmad? T. -t and one more. B. -b Good Beba. job. Very good. All right. The letter we're going to talk about today is an N. What's the name of this? N. Okay, you've got to sit still. Do me do your very best, Satchel. <clears throat> All right, so what's my picture of? What is this little boy doing? Sleepy. And when you sleep during the day, it's called a nap. A nap. And that's what this word says. Nap. 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 Right. I don't know if I'd go to sleep in the woods under a tree, would you? What season do you think it is? What season? Uh, sunny. Do you think it's summer? summer. You think it's summer? Well, it, we could, it could be summer because there's a bright sun in the sky, but what do you see on the ground? I like what the leaves. Like so the when, when, Ahmad, when do the leaves fall? When do the leaves fall? Summer. In the oh. summer? Oh, in the cold too. In the fall. So I think it might be fall because there's a lot of leaves down there, isn't it? And he, does he look chilly? Does he look cold? No. No, he looks like he's really having a good I nap, like doesn't he? Hot day, Do I you? Put on my I know, me too. All right, so the name of our letter is N, and the word is nap, and the sound is N. Mm -hmm. Guys, put your tongue at the top of your mouth and say, Mm -hmm. Now put your finger under your nose and say, mm -hmm. do you feel a little air? Mm -hmm. You can, because when you make that N mm sound, the air goes through your nose. Isn't that silly? Mm -hmm. So <laughs> you have to put your tongue up on the top of your mouth and say, mm -hmm. now say, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what happens when your lips when you say, mm, mm, your lips are together, right? And when it you say, goes. yeah, it does, mm, mm a little bit. Mm. When you say, mm, your tongue goes up to the top of your mouth. Mm, mm. Is that neat? Mm. You can go tell Miss Thompson that. You found out that air goes through your nose when you make an mm sound. <laughs> okay, here's your little end card. Look, it's a tiny picture of the little boy taking a nap. <laughs> it's in there. <laughs> okay. If we have time, you certainly can, okay? I would love for you to be able to do that. All right, so we are going to hold up our little card if we hear the N sound in the word, I say, okay? So Satchel, say nap. Nap. Do you hear N in nap? Yes, you do. Very good. Okay. Ahmad, say may. May. Say it out loud. May. Do you hear N in May? Yeah. Well, let's see. Look at my lips. May. Did my tongue go up to my top of my mouth? Uh, May. 
No, so that is not the incense. Very close though, it's tricky. Okay, Satchel say Mike. Mike. Do you hear mm in Mike? I'm sorry, do you hear mm in Mike? No, very good. Okay, Ahmad say nut. Nut. Say nut, so you put your tongue nut. up. Nut, do you hear n in nut? Yeah. Yes, you do. Very good job, Ahmad. Okay, Satchel, say Matt. Matt. Do you hear N in Matt? Good listening, Satchel. Okay, Ahmad, say new. 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 Do you hear N in new? Yes, you do. Good job. Like a new kid. Yes, like a new kid or new shoes, right? <laughs> Satchel, say no. 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 Do you hear it? N in no? Good job. One more for Ahmad. Say must. Do you hear N in must? No. no. Good listening, you two. Very good job. Now we're going to look at some letters, some words that begin with N, and then we're going to practice writing it. So, what is this again, Satchel? Nap. Yeah. Little boy's taking a nap. What's this, Ahmad? Uh, it's a nut. What's that number? Nine. Nine. What's that? A nest. A nest. And this little arrow is pointing right here. What is this part chin. of it? Well, chin is here. Throat. Neck. Chin. It is. Your throat is in your neck. Chin. Neck. All right. So say the words with me. Ready? Nap. Nine. Neck. Nest. Nut. Now my blue pictures are going to have words that end with that sound. Run. run, run Say run. run. Does your tongue go up? Run. run. Yes. Run. Say fan. 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 Good. End fan. sound. Listen, it's the same one. You Nine. hear. You hear it at the beginning and the end. Nine. Nine. Say nine, Ahmad. Nine. Good job. And sun. 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 Very good, you guys. Lots of mm sounds. And every single time you say it, your tongue goes up. You gotta remember that. Okay, let's look at how you write an N. So let's give you your marker, give your marker, and let's come stand in front of our chart, okay? Yeah, right here. <clears throat> right here. So where does an N start? Does it start at red, yellow, or green? All right to here. Well, a capital N would start there, but a lowercase N starts at our yellow line. So watch me make it. Okay, I'm gonna get down on my knees because it's so low, okay? When I start my N, I'm gonna start at yellow. I'm gonna go all the way down to green, and I'm gonna say N, right? I'm gonna go back up, N, N, N. Now I'm gonna make a hump, N. In, in, okay? And if I say it as I write it, it helps me remember that that's an in. So Ahmad, you try one right next to mine, okay? okay. Say, just go hmm. down first, make your line in, in, say in, 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 in. in. Oh, it's a skinny in, very good. Do you wanna try and make one a little fatter, a little whiter? Okay, start right here, right here. Look, I always start at yellow now, in. In, now go up, there you go, in, very nice job. Good job, now we have just enough room for satchel. Start at yellow, start at yellow, sweetie. Okay, in, we're gonna go start here and go right back up over the same line, in, in, in. Say in to yourself, in, good job. Hey, let's just pretend we have paper and make an in in the air, ready? Hold your marker up. Ready? All right, here we go. In, go down, in, go down. <laughs> We're just pretending, go down. In, in, good job, good job. All right, put your lids on, and we're gonna go to our papers, okay? Trace our lines and write, write some ends on papers. Thank you, Ahmad. All right, here's our crayons. Good satchel. <clears throat> Get out your red one first, okay? <clears throat> Trace your red lines, okay? Okay, now we are tracing it. It's fluffy again. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, keep going, Amon. That looks wonderful. You're staying right on the line. Okay, Satchel, would you go ahead and trace this one while you're at it, okay? You two go down here and get your other red one. These are good tracers. 
Okay, now switch for a yellow. Can you color like these? Yep, you can color your circles if you want. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Trace your two yellow lines. Is that how we color? Mm -hmm. You can color your circles. That's a really good job on that. Markers away, and here's Not your pencil. Ready. And you can write your name with your pencil. Good. We're going to need this. <laughs> okay, let's practice that in. Okay, start at yellow, go down to green, and start up at yellow, Satchel. We want to start our in at the yellow line and go down. Satchel, wait, we will. Look, we want to go down, then back up and around. Okay, so start it and go down. You too, start your in it. Okay, there you go. Good. Same for you, Ahmad. Next time, let's go down because that gives it this little little tap tip up here. Go down. You look it. Go back up and around. I'll try another one. Start it. Yellow. Start up here. Go down. There you go. There you go. Very nice ends. Good. Try one more, you guys. Start at yellow. Go back up and go around. Good. Now listen, I'm going to send your paper home with you to practice your ends tonight. But okay. before we leave, I want to do I one more thing. So well, good. If you don't, I'll give you one, okay? Here's some really nice paper. It has little stoplights on it, doesn't it? Really? <laughs> That's a okay. It is. We won't probably have time to do it all. Now, I'm just going to take my yellow crayon and make, trace some of your yellow lines to help us. We don't need to do all of them this time. Okay. We don't have to color all of them. No, because we know what, what we, where we need to oh, start these letters. Oh, can we do letters. it at home? Yes, sure, you can do it at home. Well, I think we get to do all of the lines. <laughs> I think we do all of them. If you want to. I'll ask you some crayons on my phone. All right, there's your yellows. All right, I want you to look where it says number one over here and pick up your pencil. And I'm going to say a sound, and I want you to write the letter that has that sound, okay? So write the letter with the t sound. T -t. <gasps> what letter has the t sound? Oh, you started writing an N. You thought I was going to say N, didn't you? <laughs> I tricked you. That's okay. That's okay. Now write the letter with the t sound. What, Satchel, what letter has the t sound? Tell me, what is it? <laughs> T. It's a T, so make a T, Ahmad. Very good job. All right, number two, write the letter with the P sound. Ahmad, what letter has the P sound? P. P, good. All right, good. Okay, number three, write the letter with the N sound. <laughs> what is it, Satchel? N, good. Okay, okay, listen. Number four, write the letter with the b sound. B. What is it, Ahmad? B. You've got it. Very good. There you go. You got it. Last one, okay? Number five, write the letter with the. You ready? You ready? Okay, have a listen. Write the letter with the m mm sound. Satchel, what is it? M. M, yay. So okay. Oh, well, you guys are doing so well. Sometimes it's funny, isn't it? <laughs> All right, number one, we're going to go over here and we're going to write a word or two, okay? First word is tap, tap, tap. Settle down. We want to earn our punches. T. A. Satchel. A. T. A. Good job. All right, very good. Let's just do one more. Okay, you ready to listen? No, I'm going to tell you a new word. You ready? Both of you look at me, please. Satchel, look at me. Satchel. Satchel, look at me. All right, the word is nap. But let's let's say the sounds. Look at me, guys. N -a -p. Three sounds. Starts with n. So write n. A. It's okay, Satchel, you can do it. Ah. And it's not all the way up. Very good. You guys did so well. We need names on here. We need names, okay? 
What's your name, Ahmad, please? Name, please. Oh. You about to leave? You did a whole lesson with me. I appreciate that. And here is your picture. What's the last one? Well, we're going to stop and we'll work on it next time, okay? okay. So give me your pencils. And I will save these papers. Okay. And you, wait, wait. I have to give you this picture to color when you get back to your class or when you take it home. And wait, wait, a mod <laughs> satchel. Okay. I want you to take this home and practice your ends. And you can too, Satchel, okay? Ooh. All right.